How would you describe our show? We are not geniuses. We talk a lot of <laughs> video games, TV shows, movies. Chris Evans. Ask him if he knows that he won the kind of nerdy Chris Evans Lifetime Achievement Award. Giancarlo Esposito on the phone with me. Uh, Katie in three, two, one. You're listening to the kind of nerdy girls where it's fun for everyone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hate it. Yes, you guys. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, well, welcome to the show. Uh, Thank you. This is the, the kind of nerdy girls, and we are. I, I don't have any of my uh, cast with me today. That we all work regular jobs as well as as chit chat about uh, all the crazy things going on in 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 the, in the geek world, but. Uh, you are going to be not too far from Indianapolis. You've got a convention this weekend, right? I do. I'm looking forward to going to Metropolis. Finally, I'm going to Metropolis. Oh, my God. First time actually in Metropolis? Absolutely. Oh, wow. So this is a, it's a convention. So for our listeners here in uh, Indy, it is in Metropolis, Illinois. And which is only, I mean, it's like a nice short drive from here, maybe four hours tops. Um, and it's a, it's an entire Superman convention. Right. And here I am, Superman's mom, and I have not been to Metropolis yet. So it's a big deal. <laughs> well, I've got a, immediately what I told our our, our kind of nerdy network, which is our 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 group of uh, fans and followers, and I call them producers because they're always giving us, you know, telling us like, "Hey, did you hear about this convention? Or did you hear the news about this? You know, latest uh, show?" Um, Bonnie, who is one of our our biggest followers. Uh, absolute, like her favorite show of all time is Lois and Clark. And she just oh, couldn't funny. believe I was going to get to talk to you. <laughs> so her first question was, can Kay talk about what it was like to work with that cast and what, you know, your favorite memory or favorite episode would be? Oh my, you know, it's only about 400 years ago that this happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but it was great to work on the show. And of course, Dean and Terry, when we started the show, were really just good working actors. You know, and then as the show popped, you know, they became big stars. And so it was really fun watching them go from one place to another, you know. Yeah. Uh, they were both darling. Uh, I really enjoyed, um, I really enjoyed both of them a lot. I haven't seen I don't think I've seen either of them since that time. I, I did see Terry more than Dean. I remember going to her baby shower uh, or some shower. I think it was her baby shower. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I haven't seen them since then, except, of course, I've seen their work. Now, uh, Dean is having a birthday this weekend, Bonnie pointed out to me. So oh, yeah. It might, might be good for you guys to get together and do a little social media happy birthday, Dean, from Metropolis. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. That would be fun. Um, have, you, have you done a lot of conventions or is this something new for you? No, I haven't. I've just done uh, just a kind of one a couple of years ago. They said, you want to go and we'll see how it goes. And then it was something that had evidently been going to be something else and then turned into something else while I was on the plane. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so but this, is, this is really the first one and particularly where I have kind of a big part in it since it's really all Superman, all singing and dancing. Yeah, it's, it's going to be really cool. And I'm sure, you know, the cool thing, Kay, about going to these conventions is that you are you, – you're going to have so much love. I mean, people come up to you. I'm like, sad. I mean, you know, when I posted in the network, the the amount of people that were like, just tell her that I love her and she was the best Martha. You know, oh, you're going to get a, a, a whole weekend of that. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. It'll do my ego so much good. <laughs> uh, well, I want to shift gears really quick from the Superman stuff. You have had an amazing career. I mean, it's it, it is such an honor to have you here as as an honorary kind of nerdy girl. Um, as you can see, I've got a Captain America here with me today. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> uh, so uh, Chris Evans is a big part of our show. We actually just 
uh, wrapped up what we call the 12 days of Christmas in July. And we oh spend goodness. 12 oh. days watching all of Chris's finest works. And uh, so terrible. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> we actually are. So our convention here in Indianapolis is called PopCon. And we had a Christmas tree. So we had set up a tree, decorated it with all Chris Evans' faces and Captain America stuff. And people took pictures all weekend. It's been a really fun 12 days. Um, but one of, our, one of our movies, when we do the 12 days of Christmas, is always Knives Out. So how cool was it to be with that cast and work on that particular project? That was so cool. Uh, it was just the best. And I only got cast like I was on vacation with my daughter. I usually actors don't go on vacation because that's the way to get called. You know, you buy an unrefundable airline ticket and then you get a chance to do something. But we were we were in Palermo, I guess. Uh, well, we, we got on the plane and we got off and got off in Rome and there was a note, there was something from somebody saying somebody wants to see you, blah, blah, blah. And anyway, they brought me back uh, to Boston to do that. So it was not only a big treat just to A, get a job, B, what a fabulous script, C, look at all those people, but what a great part. You know, the camera has to cut to you whether you have any lines or not. It's the plot point. It was so great. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was it was just fantastic. I mean that that movie was such a joy. I, I actually went to it in the theater by myself because my husband was like, uh, you know, he's super into the uh across <laughs> <laughs> I want to say it's a bird, it's a plane. They follow me every place. <laughs> anyway, so you went to the theater and saw it by yourself? I, I did. And then, you know, I was sitting there and I'm like, I have no one to talk to about this amazing movie. <laughs> so I, you know, immediately when it came out, you know, I, I bought it and I was like, told my husband, you have to watch it. And I wasn't sure because of you know there's you know there's the twist and i'm like am i gonna like this the second time uh, i don't know how many times you've seen it but i'm on like my fourth or fifth time and every time i catch like somebody doing something like a reaction or something i missed um when you were filming did you have any idea really how the story was unfolding or who did it well um no I didn't know who did it. Uh, yeah, I thought that was what was so great. You know, I just, of course, you know, you're an actor. Where's my part? Where's my part? You know? mm -hmm. But no, I didn't really know who did it. Uh, and I just thought it was so clever. Ryan is such a clever, witty, problem solving writer. Dear goodness, the plane is coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Looked at his. I don't know whether you've ever seen his other stuff, Looper, and I can't remember the other names right now. But they're all problem-solving films. Yes. Just so clever. And what was so funny was I'm sitting there, I'm standing there on the set, the first couple of days, just kind of on the side watching, and I'm watching Daniel Craig, and I'm just like, oh. And then I saw at a at one of our Q and As uh, when we were in Toronto, I guess. Um, oh gosh. Um, anyway, Daniel had gone to, had gone to Ryan and said, you know, is this too much? And then I'm trying to remember the other, the other actor is terrible. They don't remember his name, but anyway, he had gone, he had gone to Ryan and he had said, is this too much? And Ryan said, no. And then when he saw what Daniel was doing, he was like, oh no, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> but what was so great, what was so great about it was that all of these really, really, really different actors came together and they all found this just same place to play it. You know, it was, it was the truth, but it wasn't serious. You know, it was just right on that delicate place where it all, I mean, they just, I just thought they were all amazing. Yeah, it really, and you know, you, I, you get nervous sometimes when you see these movies that have this this cast that you're like, oh my gosh, all of these amazing actors all together. And it doesn't always happen like that. There's not always that. 
you know, if you're frequently like, oh, you know, they worked for five minutes and then they left and then they left, you know, like, everybody was really committed and just adorable. They just, it really did gel. And it was really one of those things, you know, you keep hearing about chemistry. It was mm-hmm. like, it really did work. Well, you have to uh, give us a little insight on on Chris Evans, the man. What was it like working with him? <laughs> He's like, I, I am not a, a Chris person. I didn't really know much about him. I'm old. What can I say? <laughs> I didn't really know that much, which was great, you know, because he was just a regular person to me, you know. And so to, to hear him, you know, on the set and we're just hanging out and he just bought a place there. And, of course, he's from that area of the country where we shot anyway. Mm-hmm. And he was just a regular person, except adorable, more adorable than your average bear and things like that. (laughs) Well, it has been so much fun chatting with you. And again, I mean, you're, you're going to be so close to us that anybody in Indianapolis who has had this love of, you know, I'm a Gen Xer. So Lois and Clark, for me, I grew up with the Justice League, you know, eating eating cereal on Saturday mornings. And then Lois and Clark was like my first, my first Superman, right? Like first live action that. You know what was great about Lois and Clark is this is the first, and as far as I'm concerned, the only iteration, I haven't watched the others closely, but it's the only iteration where Martha, Martha Kent was a real person instead of just saying, you know, here's the butter. She was so funny. And when we shot the pilot, in the pilot, the first time you see her, we didn't end up using this because we ran out of money and it was raining. But the first in the scene, first scene you're supposed to see her, she's welding. So I learned to weld for oh, this. Wow. It was only later that I read about welding and was like, oh my God, that is really scary. <laughs> 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 so you haven't welded anything since? I haven't welded. No, no call for that. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it was just such a pleasure to have such a wonderful part. And Deborah Joy Levine, our writer, executive producer, she's just so witty. And, you know, when I read the script, I, I just, and oh, and, and so when I went in for the audition, I was like, what shall I do? It's like, you know, you would think you'd have the Martha Kent, like, little print blouse and the little sweater and so forth. And and so I had that. And then I was just thinking about her welding. And so I was like, I called up my agent. He wasn't there. And the assistant, he doesn't know anything. And he said, well, I don't know. What do you think? You should wear this or that. He was, and of course he was. And so I just thought about it. And I went in and I wore sweatpants and just the whole what you would wear. And everybody else in the in the waiting room was like in the bow print things and so forth. Yeah. Like, and so Deborah Joy, I, I heard her at Q&A saying, you know, that I had her when I walked in in the sweat outfit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> if all of us if all of us could get get the dream job by walking in in sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, I mean, you, 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 you played her in a way and she was written in a way that, like you said, it was very different. She writing. Yeah. It was. It it was so beautiful because it was so much more than just I'm your mom, right? Like, like you were there for the whole thing. It was Martha Kent was an important part of how Clark Kent lived his life, what Lois was doing, the entire family unit. Um, and, and like I said, for those of us who, who, who grew up in that area, in that era, I don't really remember at the time and I could be wrong, but I don't remember that there was a lot of even superhero shows being on prime time. Um, Here goes the plane again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure there were, you know, there are always some kind of superhero somethings. But this was the first time that I'd seen any Superman uh, that had really fun in it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes. A lot of fun in it and silly things. I just love silly. And I just love that, you know, in the pilot, I believe that he brings Lois out to the farm and she wants to send a fax and she's trying to explain it to me. And I say, oh, you mean this? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) 
Oh, how fun. So this is, I mean, like, this is just a preview of what the weekend is going to be like. I had uh, go to Metropolis, meet Kay, the the amazing Martha Kent, and, and so much more. Um, thank you for sharing a little bit of time with us here on the Kind of Nerdy Girls. Have fun at your convention. I'm so excited for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And yay for Nerdy Girls. How would you describe our show? We talk a lot of <laughs> video games, TV shows, movies. Katie in three, two, one. You're listening to the kind of nerdy girls where it's fun for everyone. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs>